The committee's original report urged Americans to reduce their risk of heart attacks by reducing their intake of cholesterol, down to the equivalent of about one egg a day. You know, there were imminent scientists of the time saying, this is nonsense, there is no good scientific evidence that either fat or cholesterol, you know, is at the root of heart disease. I said to the professor that I was working with, you know, this is not right. Animal fat's not causing this, and this is not what the data says. I have pleaded in my report and will plead again orally here for more research on the problem before we make announcements to the American public. Well, I, I would only argue that senators don't have the luxury that a research scientist does of waiting until every last shred of uh, evidence is in. The McGovern Committee's report was written by a young staff member who happened to be a vegetarian and had no background in medicine or health research. The committee recommended a low-fat, low-cholesterol diet for everyone and offered some ideas that could only spring from the mind of a politician. But Senator Schweiker of Pennsylvania suggested that instead of discrediting the committee's report, the egg men should be out developing hens that would lay low-cholesterol eggs. Soon after the McGovern report was issued, the USDA got into the act. Carol Tucker Foreman, the assistant secretary at the time, believed in the low-fat diet theory and wanted to issue official government guidelines to tell everybody how to eat. To make sure she was on solid scientific ground, she consulted with Philip Handler, the head of the National Academy of Sciences. Just one little problem. Handler told her the McGovern Committee's report was nonsense. So she did what any dedicated government official would do. She ignored him, shopped around for a scientist who agreed with her, then issued the guidelines. Thanks to a handful of politicians with no background in science, the heart-healthy benefits of a low-fat diet became official government policy. And real scientists got the message loud and clear. Tell us what we already believe or you can say goodbye to your lucrative government funding.